When it comes to Taylor Swift endorsing Kamala Harris in the 2024 presidential race, was Donald Trump ready for it? Apparently not. After the 34-year-old global superstar threw her support and cultural influence behind Harris and running mate Tim Walls in the moments after Tuesday night's debate between the current VP and Trump, The Apprentice star told Fox News that, despite him sharing AI-generated images of Swift supporting him, he was actually never a Swifty in the first place. I actually like Mrs. Brittany Mahomes much better, if you want to know the truth. She's a big Trump fan, Trump said when asked about Swift's endorsement of Harris, directly naming the wife of NFL star and teammate of Swift's boyfriend, Travis Kelsey, Patrick Mahomes. Brittany also previously liked one of Trump's social media posts, a move that led to controversy for Swift after the singer-songwriter embraced Britney at the U.S. Open.LN his Fox interview. Trump continued, stressing that he was not a Taylor Swift fan because it was just a question of time before she endorsed a Democrat. You couldn't possibly endorse Joe Biden. You look at Biden, you couldn't possibly endorse him, but she's a very liberal person. She seems to always endorse a Democrat, Trump said. And she'll probably pay a price for it in the marketplace. Entertainment Weekly has reached out to representatives for Swift, Trump, and the team behind Kansas City Current, a women's sports team Britney founded for comment. On Tuesday night, Swift posted an impassioned Instagram message in support of Harris and Walls, praising what she believed Harris's ability to lead the country by calm and not chaos, if elected. Recently, I was made aware that AI of me falsely endorsing Donald Trump's presidential run was posted to his site. It really conjured up my fears around AI and the dangers of spreading misinformation. It brought me to the conclusion that I need to be very transparent about my actual plans for this election as a voter. The simplest way to combat misinformation is with the truth, Swift said in the post, directly commenting on a recent controversy that saw Trump posting AI-generated, fake imagery of the singer and her fans endorsing him. The post continued, I was so heartened and impressed by Harris's selection of running mate at Tim Walls, who has been standing up for LGBTQ plus rights, IVF, and a woman's right to her own body for decades. I've done my research, and I've made my choice. Your research is all yours to do, and the choice is yours to make. I also want to say, especially to first-time voters, remember that in order to vote, you have to be registered. I also find it's much easier to vote early. I'll link where to register and find early voting dates and info in my story. She ended the post by signing it with her name and the title Childless Cat Lady underneath, a direct reference to a widely maligned past comment by Trump's running mate, J.D. Vance, who, in a heavily criticized 2021 interview with Tucker Carlson, referred to single women in the Democratic Party as childless cat ladies. Swift's endorsement came after her monolithic show of power and influence in both pop culture and economically across the last two years, with many citing her era's tour as a significant business-boosting entity in cities around the world. Following one of Swift's September 2023 social media posts urging her followers to register to vote, a move that reportedly led to over 35,000 voter registrations, per NPR. A U.S. General Services Administration spokesperson reported that, As of 2 p.m. Eastern Time on September 11th, the customvote.gov URL in Swift's post had sent 337,826 visitors to the site, which directs voters to their state election websites for state-specific voting information. This post has been updated with vote.gov traffic statistics.